a hello student and welcome back now we are going to talk about the scope in the vlsi domain in this industry what can you do if you plan to enter the field of vlsi so in this video we are going to talk about that what are the major domains in the field of vlsi there are two expertise which are required one is front end and the other one is back end and we are going to talk about different career options in the vlsi domain so let us get started so first of all when we talk about the major domain in the vlsi we have two main domains the first one is front end in this we are mainly concerned with the logic design we are working on the verification also and we should have a good knowledge of digital design using hardware descriptive languages that is hdls so if you want that you are going to work on the logical design of a system how the system is going to work then front end is the field the other field or the domain which we have is back end in the back end we are mainly working on the physical design the layout of the chip and we are associated with the manufacturing part our focus is on these aspects for this we need a good knowledge of asic flow asic is application specific integrated circuit these are the circuits which are designed for very specific purposes we should also be knowing the specifications functional simulation synthesis and the timing analysis when we talk about the front end expertise we need a very good knowledge of hardware descriptive languages we need to know the coding using verilog or vhdl which are very similar to c nowadays system verilog is also getting very popular for the logic design you should also know the asic verification techniques and if you are the person who is fond of hardware coding you have your inclination towards the implementation of logic you love designing the logic then front end is the field for you talking about the back end expertise well here we need a very good knowledge of the analog design the person should have a good hold of the concept related to the cmos complementary metal oxide semiconductors they should know analog circuits and a very good command on the scripting languages because a lot of work will be done through these automation scripts you should know how to design different memory elements like static ram and dynamic ram and you should know the techniques for the layout and the physical design let us talk about the different career options that we have in the vlsi industry the first one is the design engineer the design engineer is basically working on the front end and he will be working on designing the system either for the asic or fpga the person can work as a back end designer as well the same person will also be responsible for the analog and mix signal designs now they will also work for design for testability and pcb design so all these design aspects they are covered if you are planning to be a design engineer in addition design engineers also develop the libraries which can be used by the other engineers so here your focus is mainly on constructing the new things or designing the logic of the complete system the next that we have is the verification engineer as a verification engineer you can work in the front end verification 
and you can work as a validation engineer also you will be modeling a lot of task and you can be the modeling engineer and you can be the consultant in all the verification task so the main role that you have is to verify that the design which is made by the design engineer is it working or not are there any faults are there any optimization errors all these things you have to verify next aspect that we have is for the cad engineers cad stands for computer aided design so here you are mainly responsible for managing the license and the eda tools eda stands for electronic design and automation you are going to evaluate these eda solutions and the methods used to implement circuits using the computer aided tools you are going to integrate various eda tools and develop the workflow and you have to work in tandem with the design and the verification team so as a cad engineer you have to make sure that both the design engineer and the verification engineer they are working on a similar set of tools which are compatible with each other and there are no contradictions the next career option that we have is of an application engineer as an application engineer you are the interface between the research and development team and the customers you can be the field application engineers for the pre sales part or the corporate application engineer for the post sales part and definitely you are going to be the application consultant the major role that you have in this domain is when someone is developing the system we need to sell it a regular salesman cannot do that you should have proper technical knowledge and every minute details of the project and then only you can sell it or present it to the customers and one more option that you have is of the marketing and sales here you are primarily promoting the brand and selling the products a good application engineer if he want to switch to this domain he can become a marketing or sales executive so here you are mainly responsible for contacting the clients approaching them giving the demo of your product and providing the post sale services as well so students now i am sure that you are excited about these career options so next we are going to talk about that what are the different types of digital systems that we have and which of those we are going to cover in our training program keep learning thank you